Okay, good morning everyone and welcome to our lesson about big data and designs. It's a module eight and nine. Okay, so here you are expected to know the meaning of big data and dangers of using big data and how to avoid it and to know where e science started and uses of computational science. So this lesson is intended for two meetings. Okay, so let's start with knowing what is big data. Big data is a sweeping term for the non-customary techniques and advancements expected to assemble, sort out, process, and accumulate bits of knowledge from huge data sets. A correct meaning of big data is hard to nail down on the grounds that undertaking sellers, experts, and business experts utilize it in an unexpected way. Because of that, as a rule, huge information is, okay, large data sets. So big data is from large data sets, the category of computing strategies and technologies that are used to handle large data sets. So that's big data. So large data set implies a data set too extensive to sensibly process or store with customary tooling or a solitary PC. This implies the regular size of enormous data sets that is continually moving and may differ fundamentally from associations to associations. So this big data class used by the companies in order to generate a valuable insights that would be um, useful in their marketing campaigns, strategies, or techniques. Okay, so this big data comes from different sources and it is described as the large volume of data that is used for strategic business moves. One example of it is the inventory ordering, another is the shopping habit. Okay, so this big data. Another is a set of technologies created to store, analyze, and manage data. And actually, it is used in different areas, like in medicine, education, agriculture, environmental protection, and many other sectors. Okay, so today, this big data uh, touches every business, either small or big or any level of business. But this big data also have dangers when it comes to uh, protecting the data. And what would be, first we have noise in data. So in spite of being the speediest, big data has neglected to give the best outcomes in numerous associations. So this is because of the newness of the insignificant information in their gathering. So this unessential information, not just from expanding the measure of information to be broke down, yet in addition builds the cost of administration, stockpiling, abuse, and newness to obsolete information in your vote. Okay, so since it is big data or bulk or volume data, it cannot be avoided that there are insignificant information or data gathered from uh, different sources. And yet it could be a source of what? Or it could be a source of other misinformation or disinformation. That is why, okay, so security must be ensured in handling big data. So the lack of security is one of the factors like a scam, no, um, cyber crimes, and many others. So there have been times when even the examiners with huge information, confirmation have neglected to check for the security-based issues. So cyber crime being the robbery ruler influences individuals to shudder in regard to the security of the information. Okay, since we have volume of data, so it is very important to secure that valuable data and how to secure it by, of course, checking the security. Yes, checking the security in order to provide protection from malicious uh, activities, other steps or robberies, and that could harm the valuable data. So it's very uh, important to have a security when it comes to handling big data. Another is the privacy control. So there is a major contrast among security and protection where security manages the reality reboot 
if your information is shielded or not from the outside robberies or theft. So protection fundamentally concerns you about the abuse of your information. Okay, so privacy control. So how can we protect privacy in big data? So it involves managing big data in order to minimize the risk and protect the valuable or sensitive data. That is why the privacy policy should be reviewed by the company. Another is the cost. Cost analysis is a major factor and as the information measure is expanding, the cost has been expanding exponentially, okay? So big data is expensive. We all know that, why? Because first, of course, the company would um, buy a software tool that would, that would use to manage and analyze data. Another is the storage infrastructure of your data is also expensive. And also the person or the engineer, we call it data engineers that will handle and manage the data. So you have the company should spend money for those aspects. Then the bad analytic report, okay? So a bad analysis report implies a foul or wrong after effect of your information translation. So this by and large happens when you incline towards going for an uncertified experts as opposed to an examiner with a big data confirmation. Okay, so when we say analytic report, so these are analysis when it comes to big data. But however, there are also challenges of an, a data analytics, okay, such as, the amount of data being collected is one of the challenges. They need to uh, check it. And of course, the collecting the, of meaningful uh, real-time data. Also, the poor quality of data is one of the challenges. Lack of support, pressure from the top management that would result to bad analytic report. And of course, inadequate knowledge about technologies, um, data privacy, the lack of skills of the person who will handle the big data technology, the incapability when it comes to analytical uh, knowledge or inadequate analytical capabilities of the company or organization that uh, handle the big data. So those are uh, challenges when it comes to having big data. So big data has never failed itself in giving the most ideal approaches to oversee and handle that immense measure of information. So with amazing outcomes for examining the given information, big data has driven to us incredible progression. Okay, so big data has advantages and disadvantages. The advantages, it could what provide insights, valuable insights to clients or, or uh, consumers, of course, to the company, of course, in order to provide quality output. However, this big data could also be a source of scams, a source of phishing, a source of um, disinformation, false information, because cyber criminals could hack, could get information if the big data cannot be secured properly, okay? So those are the uh, danger of having big data. So in short, the company should spend much time and money in order to secure those data. Okay, so next meeting class would be how to avoid the danger of big data. And of course, we are going to talk about um, e-signs. Okay, so that would be all. And next week would be a continuation of it. Thank you so much, everyone, for attending.